All right, so one of the things I've been trying to solve for the past few years has been transparent images uh, using the uh, Turbo Pascal Borland graphics interface. By default, that doesn't support that. Uh, you can get away with it doing some, some things in the uh, 256 color modes or manually creating what's called uh, a mask. And uh, I've shown that in previous videos but it's just too much of a hassle to create uh, masks for each image uh, manually. So I'm gonna show you an easy way. Uh, I've uh, added this feature to my program and it allows you to create transparent images much easier. So what you're looking at is how it normally displays an image. And uh, so I drew this image and let me bring up my uh, editor here. So it's this image right here. And uh, if we go into properties, let me bring that over. I selected Turbo Pascal, image type, put image, and mask type, inverted. Um, and if you do that, um, and go to file, export, and select res text include file, it will create uh, the following code. Now you don't have to bring it into the editor. You can do a simple include uh, under the const statement. Uh, so you could do if that's what you save it as. And so it doesn't take up all this space. Anyway, uh, we'll go through that another day, but I'm just showing you what you can do. You don't have to see it here. And uh, so if we uh, comment uh, this part and uncomment this, so we're drawing at the same location now, but we're using the uh, generated uh, image mask. So if we run it now, you can see that there's no black uh, space. It's completely transparent and we can move this further down, let's go, let's see if that moves it, yeah, completely, let's go 50, so it doesn't matter what's underneath, so let's go even further, 80, so it doesn't matter what color is underneath, it still becomes transparent. So this works with all the modes, um, four color modes, and also 256 color modes. Um, the four color mode, the CGA, there's a bug in the BGI that basically prevents it from working normally, but uh, that's just a bug in the BGI. If you use uh, Quick Basic or any of the other Microsoft languages, Quick C, and quick Pascal, that works properly as well. So what I'll do now is just, I'm gonna wipe this out. And just show you the uh, process. Don't worry, I'm not gonna draw everything from scratch, but what I'll do is just simply uh, change some colors and uh, re-export. So we're gonna change this from green to, change it to pink. And I'm gonna change the name, call it pink bar. And let's export this as well. And call Call this red bar. So if we come to file, export, select res text include, if you select a binary one, it creates the same data, but in a binary format. I'll go through that another day. 
So I will call it uh, test eight because that's uh, going to be the next in order. We'll call it test eight INC and uh, this is where I will include that file dollar sign I test 8 INC so that should bring it in um, of course we should get an error here because our variable names are not the same anymore but uh, let's see what happens okay so I changed it to pink bar and let's compile that now well I didn't like that so I made a mistake somewhere all right uh, let's take a look at the actual include file test 8 inc okay it's just called pink bar not pink bar image and pink bar mask not pink bar image mask all right so that works and so again the, the same same thing works transparent image and let's see how it looks without actually applying the n and the or combination so this is how you would uh, display it normally and there we go we have the uh, black background so we can try the uh, red bar also just to show that it works on different kinds of images as well so you see the uh, black background let's comment that out Now what we can do here, instead of having to provide two put image statements, we can shorten that to just one. Here, let me do that just to show you that. So you can see that, uh, again, it's transparent. So what we can do is, let's create a procedure, call it, uh, image trans x y And if I've done everything right, this should do the same thing. And if we come down here, just put one command now. Okay. 
so it compiled and hopefully this works yep perfect so now instead of having to use double put image statements we can just use one provide the image name and the image mask and we could uh, handle that a lot better go somewhere else no that doesn't help us okay there we go all right so i'll leave it uh, at this uh you can check the uh, description below i'll have a link to my program and you could do this for uh, any number of programming languages if you're uh, using dos or even if you're using windows and some of the uh, free pascal um, supported the uh, platforms